are now tuned in to my good fiends at Talks from the Crypt, the most gruesome podcast in the world. <laughs> what's up, what's up, everybody? Happy Halloween. Man, what better way to kick off Halloween morning than to watch the first ever episode of Talks from the Crypt with none other than your Crypt Keeper, me, Brandon Lee. Now, I can't call this an episode as much as I should call it a quick introduction. I have some notes prepared for you guys. I'm not a seasoned podcaster by any means, so I had to prepare some notes here. And let's go over the details. So what is Talks from the Crypt? Well, simply put, Talks from the Crypt is a horror and true crime podcast where we will be discussing all of the topics and subtopics this genre brings. Whether we're discussing manufactured horror like horror movies or we're discussing the horrors we face in and out of our dimension like true crime or the paranormal here is where we're going to be covering it all and look how perfect and ceremonial episode one on halloween what the show is going to be bringing you over time breaks down into a couple of different subsections that i felt was necessary to explain to you guys before jumping into the full swing of things subsection number one being news. This will be a hub for all of your horror news. We'll go over all new stories in movies, music, events, or anything horror related. Subsection number two would be our discussion based segment on all things horror related movie reviews, movie analysis, debates, scary stories, creepy pastas, or discussing the world's most notorious serial killers and historical events. And subsection number three would be my favorite subsection of all interviews, where we're going to be interviewing some of the biggest names in horror, actors, directors, makeup artists, entrepreneurs, and horror icons of all different spectrums will be asked the questions the fans want to know or didn't even know they wanted to know. Subscribers will have the opportunity to interact with these horror icons by participating in our Fans Ask segment, where we ask fans to comment their best questions to be asked at the end of the interview. And the objective of this show is to just be a one-stop shop for everything. Your news, your interviews, your discussions, your behind the scenes, your ghost story, whatever. You don't have to subscribe to 15 different podcasts to get horror content. And in the future, I'd like to do a bunch of one-off things, like maybe do walkthroughs of different haunts and conventions, make short films, go ghost hunting, whatever the case may be. I'm here to do it all. Now, who am I, you ask? I'm sure nobody is asking that question, and it works out in my favor because I'd hate to go on and on about who I am and why I feel like I should be here. The only thing I could really credit to this show's existence and sitting here in front of you guys is horror movies. And I think saying I love horror movies in 2021 is a pretty watered down term, but it's pretty universal. Like, who doesn't love horror movies? A better way to describe it would be I'm obsessed with horror. And I think my fascination started with Halloween. Now, yeah, Halloween is fun because you get to dress up and go trick or treating, but I've always personally felt tethered to Halloween because I was born on October 14th, smack dab in the middle of October. So half of the month I'm waiting for my birthday and the rest of the half I'm waiting for Halloween. Now I come from an Egyptian family and they're not fans of celebrating birthdays on time. They'll couple it with the nearest holiday and just celebrate it in one. And I had no problems with that. I mean, going trick or treating and coming back to open up presents was like better than Christmas to me. And I don't know, as a kid, I, I just felt like October was my month. Everything just seemed better in October. I mean, pumpkin patches, haunted houses, TV would play the monster marathons, 31 nights of Halloween, Disney Channel original movies. You, know, you got fucking Halloween Town, Phantom of the Megaplex, Under Wraps, Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire. I mean, those movies are literally goaded and they played one time a year in October. And every year I remember waking up on November 1st with a pillowcase filled with candy being so so bummed out it was all over. I call it a post-Halloween depression. And so I used to cope with this post-Halloween depression or post-season depression with horror movies and reading urban legends online or reading up about true crime. I actually used to do something pretty fucking embarrassing. I used to create fake MySpace pages. I had one of Michael Myers. I had one of Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees. And I would pretty much just log on and add other people who were also pretending to be serial killers and have conversations with them. So I'm Michael Myers having a conversation with a guy who's pretending to be Chucky and we're talking about killing people. It's real fucked up shit. But, you know, the older I got, the more my interest started to evolve. Pumpkin patches turned into haunted houses. Scooby-Doo turned into cannibal holocaust. And you know how it goes. It just went down that road. I became just fascinated with death, the macabre, and the art behind horror films. And I quickly learned how to bring the month of October with me everywhere. It didn't matter if it was December. It didn't matter if it was July. To me, it was Halloween. To me, it was October. And honestly, it felt like an edge. It felt like I was invited to an exclusive party that nobody even knew about. So this podcast is my invitation to you guys into this exclusive year-round party where every day really is Halloween. So the current plan is to come out with an episode about every two weeks. 
might be faster. It might be slower. This is still new to me. We're going to be figuring out the timing as we go. On the next episode we have, I'm going to be having a buddy of mine, Jason Egan, who owns and operates the official Saw Escape Room, the official Blair Witch Escape Room, and Las Vegas' only haunted attraction, Fright Dome. And we're going to have him here in the crypt, get to know him a little bit. And I hope to keep that as a running theme for the show have different guests on and speak about the topics relevant to their career or relevant to whatever episode topic we choose. So to anybody who press play, it means a lot to me. The studio took fucking forever to build. I feel like everything I've worked for in my life has culminated towards this podcast. So it really is a pleasure to be able to sit here in front of this camera and record this content. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like, subscribe, thumbs up, whatever you got to do on whatever platform you're on. Um, And I'm out of here. Have a safe and happy Halloween, everybody. Peace. (laughs) 